I'll be showing 10 new features in Microsoft Word. This includes the latest updates in desktop and web, and it's infused with AI and intelligence. This is not your parents' Word, so let's get started. The first new feature is improved dark mode in Word. So I'm gonna to go to the file menu here and go down to account. And now I'm gonna choose office theme and I'm going to choose black. Now everything's in dark mode. Now if I go back here, you can see the actual page is now actually black as well. It used to be the page was white. If I go to the view tab here, there's this special switch modes button that's appeared for dark mode. So I can go here and make it white or go back to black. Now a bonus tip, if I go into focus mode right here, I can now hover and even change the background page color. This background appears and I could change this. So if I wanna have a mix of black and blue, I can do that. And I can turn off focus mode like this. And now I'm back to the normal dark mode. The second new feature is transform your Word document into a web page in a single click. If I go to the file menu here and I go down to transform, this is going to automatically pull transform to web page, which is going to create a sway. Now I have a bunch of options here. I have different types of patterns. Looking at a few options here, I'm gonna choose the one right here. And now at the bottom, I will click transform. Now it's generated this beautiful sway and everything is laid out. My Amazon rainforest, all the motion, everything that I put in here is in a nice sway. Now this is private by default. For those of you that haven't seen sway, I can share this out. I can edit, so if I go here, I can edit my Sway. Maybe I want to make this picture a little bit bigger. And you can do a few things in Sway. I'm not going to give the whole Sway demo. But the idea is that just in a single click, it can take your document and create this beautiful web page that can be easily shared with anyone. If I just click Share, I can get a visual link and copy, make that a thumbnail, and I can share that out with anyone. And just to note, this works in Word for the web as well. The third new feature is modern commenting in Word. We've radically improved commenting in Word desktop as well as web, and they're coming to Mac. So I've got a document here, and I'm gonna to go to the review tab, and we've had show comments a long time. Now when I click this, first off, you're gonna see this new inline comments. So if you drop this down, the old way used to be in a list way off on the side, and it was kinda of hard to tell where it was linked in the document. By default now with modern comments, it shows up contextual, so you can see it's right here. Now Ella can also at mention me. She at mentioned me right here and talks about the TPS cover sheet design. Now I can go down here, I can at mention Ella Taylor. So I will at mention her and I'll say, hey, thanks. Now this here, it used to be that your comment automatically was saved. Now it gives you a chance to decide when to actually post that reply. In addition to clicking, I always like to hit control enter. It's a nice way to send that. The other thing is I can scroll down here I can hit the three dot menu and you can see it highlights it when I hover over Ella's comment. I can hit the three dot menu and I can resolve the thread. I can edit the comment since I'm the document owner. I can delete the thread. So maybe on this one up here, I'll go and delete this thread. All done there. On this one, I'll type and say, I want to keep it, send that off. And now I'm gonna go here and mark it as resolved. So now you can see the little check mark appears right next to it. I don't have to worry about that and it won't show up in the comments pane either. The fourth new feature is improved read aloud voice. So I'm gonna select some text right here and I'm gonna to go to the review menu. And normally we've had read aloud for a while and it used the old local voice. Now I can use the new neural text to speech voice. So let's listen to that. The Amazon rainforest is an expansive forest located in the Amazon basin. And you can see the little read aloud controls are right here, forward, backward, the play button. I can change settings, so I'll choose a male voice. And maybe I'm going to select this here and do read aloud from the play button here. The forest covers an area as large as the 48 contiguous United States. In addition to the standalone read aloud, if you use the immersive reader, so if I go to the view menu here and I click on immersive reader, you'll get that same high quality read aloud voice as well. And you can see that there is a read aloud right here. The Amazon rainforest is an expansive forest located in the... So the read aloud voice is vastly improved. This is going to be rolling out in the coming months. And if you're on the Office Insiders, it should be very soon. The fifth new feature is improved dictation. We've rolled out improved dictation to the web, and now it's also coming to desktop as well as iPad and Android. So on the Home tab here in Word, there's a Dictate button, and we've improved the user interaction. Click Dictate. Now I am dictating in Microsoft Word, period. 
I can click the button down here. I can move this wherever I want. So if I want to move this here, I can do that. And I can click settings and you're going to see auto punctuation. I'll turn on auto punctuation and let's try this again. I can start talking and now I don't even have to do punctuation. Word will automatically figure out where to stop and then add the punctuation. Am I asking a question? So it can figure out how you're talking and auto punctuate. And then lastly, we've added more and more languages. If I drop down settings, you're going to see spoken language and there is a very large number of languages. We've added some new preview languages you can see here and there are more and more coming out this year and into the next. The sixth new feature is the ability to embed things directly into Word for the web. So for example, I've got my YouTube video right here and I'm going to copy this link and I'll go back to the Word document and just do paste and hit the space bar to engage the URL and it automatically will turn that into an embedded YouTube video and I can hit play. I can also embed things like forms. So right here, I'm going to switch and grab a form, hit share and copy go back to my Word document, hit paste, and then the space bar to engage that. And now this is an interactive embedded form. It even has the immersive reader built right in, which is really cool. And the last one I'll just show is Sway. So I've got the Sway that I created earlier. I click share and I'm gonna get the link and copy this. Let's go back into the Word document and let's paste that link. And now I've got that interactive thumbnail embedded with Sway. Now you have a whole list of things that can be embedded into Word and here's the URL page for it here. I've pasted this support link in the description if you want to find it, but there's an entire list. So Stream, YouTube, Sway, Vimeo, TED Talks, Genially, Buncee, all sorts of great stuff, even Pinterest. So Word now supports interactive embedding. The seventh new feature is support for table of contents in Word for the web. This one's been a long time coming. So I have a document right here. And for table of contents in Word desktop, as well as web, you need to first make sure that you've actually had headings embedded in your document. So for example, if I go to styles here, this is one of the heading ones. These are custom headings, but you know, Word has heading one size, heading two size. You need to make sure that your document has these. You can't just have it colored pink and it automatically becomes a heading. You actually have to go and insert the heading. So this is a heading two. So I've already inserted headings into my document here, heading one and heading two. And now what's nice is I'm going to go right here and make a little space. Now I'll go to the references tab and there's this new table of contents option. Drop this down and choose insert table of contents. You can see it automatically adds this nice table of contents, just like in word desktop. And if I add or remove things, it's really easy to update the table of contents. So maybe right here, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to delete this. What you get with Contoso part. Let's just delete that. And now if I go back up here, and I click on the table of contents, I can either hit update here or I can drop this down and choose update table of contents. And you can see it removed that part of my table of contents. And if I want to remove the entire table of contents, I choose this remove table of contents and it takes it away. And maybe I don't want it in there after all. The eighth new feature is the famous word ruler is now in word for the web. So if I go to the view menu here, you're going to see a ruler button. Let's click that. And the ruler appears and this lets you mess with the margins. If, for example, if I want to take this paragraph and move it in a little bit, I can drag the ruler here and get it all the way like this. And if I want to make it more narrow, you can drag this part here. Or if I want to undo that really quick and maybe I want to have all of these paragraphs be indented just slightly, I can drag the top one, which is the first line indent. And now you can see they're all indented. So the ruler works just like it does in the desktop and you can turn that on or off. The ninth new feature is converting your Word in the web document into a PowerPoint in just a single click. Really handy. So I've got my Word document here and it has images and tables, a lot of nice stuff. I'm going to go to the file menu and I'm going to choose export and you're going to see export to PowerPoint presentation and this is in preview right now. Let's click this. It fetches a bunch of themes for my presentation, kind of like the click to sway. This one here looks pretty cool. Let's click this design idea and then I'll click export preparing. All right, it is ready. Let's click open presentation. So you can see here PowerPoint is now created and it's taken all of my document, my executive summary, all the great points, and it's made a very nice looking deck that I didn't really didn't have to do anything for. This is using word plus PowerPoint and infusing that with AI intelligence. 
The tenth and final tip is text prediction, or AKA word prediction, is now built into Word, and you can turn it on or off. Text prediction is really powerful. It's also a great accessibility and inclusive feature, and many people know it on their phones where it helps you predict text ahead. So this is now enabled in Word. You can turn it on or off. So if I go to the review tab, you're gonna see editor. This is our next generation spell checker. If I drop this down, you're gonna see text predictions, and I'll click this. I've got this turned on so I can get text predictions as I type. If I wanna turn it off, I can hit the switch there, turn it back on, we'll hit okay. It's also right down here, it says text predictions on. If I click this at the bottom, it also pops up that same dialog. So let's say I'm gonna be typing in my Word document here. Do you think we can winnow down the number of, see how it's popping suggestions up. So you can see it's highlighted light gray. If I wanna just ignore it and not engage the number of, I can just keep typing. But in this case, if I hit the tab key or the right arrow, it'll take that suggestion. See how it jumped in there, the number of things we are doing. But let's say I was, didn't wanna use doing. Do you think we can winnow down the number of things that we are going to, and it figures it out. So it's really handy to help suggest things as you're going. And again, some people like this, some people don't. Some people really appreciate text suggestions for accessibility reasons. Could be people with dyslexia, people with dysgraphia, or other ways where writing is not as quick to get down, and so this can be really helpful for that as well. If you found this video useful, give it a like. Now, if you want to keep up with all the latest videos I'll be releasing, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell to keep notified for all the latest posts.